Thank you, sir, for coming on uh, to do the Happy Friday interview. Uh, where are you at right now? Well, currently I am uh, residing in Kigali, Rwanda, oh, which is wow. East Africa. Yes. Oh, wow. Yes. Oh, wow. Well, if you would, uh, would you like to introduce yourself? Oh, absolutely. Sure. My name is Lamont Muhammad. And as mentioned, I currently reside in Kigali, Rwanda with my be beautiful wife and family. Uh, we have been here uh, for a little over one year now, a year and about three weeks. And uh, my family consists of my both of my mothers, my mother and my wife's mother, as well as our 11 year old granddaughter and 11 year old niece. And so we are currently here and we are enjoying ourselves, loving it. Uh, we moved here from the United States, naturally. Uh, however, more specifically, Atlanta, Georgia. And uh, I am originally uh, from Pennsylvania, though, my being raised there. And uh, so we come from Pennsylvania all the way to Rhonda. So I like to say we're 85 to Africa. From <laughs> <laughs> as our president says, that sounds like a song. <laughs> it, actually, it actually is a song. Yeah, I know, I know. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Well. Thank you for coming on uh, to do the Happy Friday interview. Um, you know, so you're somebody who I very much look up to uh, and just having the Happy Friday mindset in terms sure. of thinking internationally uh, mm -hmm. with your fearlessness, your resilience, your intuitiveness, your determination, appreciative and youthful. Uh, those principles, it sounds like the you're the embodiment of that. And wow. I'm going to get into your story a little bit more in terms sure. of how those principles apply to you from your start to finish, uh, moving from America to Africa. And mm, in that sure. context of being fearless, uh, let's start with that principle. Sure. We'll work our way down uh, regarding that. Um, okay. So, in terms of being fearless and moving to Rwanda, what did that take <laughs> for you to move there? Well, <clears throat> for me, I would say, brother, really, you know, living in, I'm sure you can attest to this, you know, living in, America as a black man. <laughs> yes, sir. Fear is something that we experience just about every single day. Yes, sir. You know, and, you know, so something that we have to challenge every day. Yes, sir. You know, and so I believe, man, really truthfully, that it was in, you know, living in America and having to meet and overcome those challenge, the, the challenges of fear. It was preparation, man. We was already being prepared and shaped to, you know, take on uh, any challenges or any other challenges, especially if it was a challenge that was going to benefit us in the long run. Yes, sir. And so, um, you know, we we just said, you know what? According, being students of the teachers of the most honorable Elijah Muhammad, you know, we already know. Listen, it's 196,940,000 square miles of this planet Earth, yes, you sir. know. Let's explore it, man. Yes, sir. let's see it for ourselves. Let's, you know, so it was that excitement, man. It was that the excitement of the possibility of seeing something other than what we were accustomed to and we were subjected to that allowed for us to say, you know what? You know what? The adventure of being able to see what life has ahead of us weighs far greater than the fear of what we're experiencing right now. Wow. So we said, you know wow. what? Wow. We go on. Let's do it. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> wow. 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 Yes, sir. Okay. The next principle is resilience. How did that fit into the context of going there? Um, well, you know, naturally, man, it's like you, you know that you are uh, leaving your comfort in the sense, meaning. Yes, Something that you're accustomed, you know, you, you saw, so you know, this is all I know, good, bad or indifferent. It still is all, you know, you know, and 
having to, you know, really just uh, really put aside, you know, that that complacency, if you will. Yes, sir. Uh, and really just say, you know what? I can't allow, you know, the, the the comforts, you know, that I'm accustomed to to keep me, you know, not moving forward and toward what it is that, you know, what the you know greater possibilities may be. Yes, sir. And so we just pretty much, you know, just fought through it, man. Of course, we, you know, we we're prayerful in uh, in our trying to be, you know, maintain the level of resilience. We were. Uh, encouraging of one another. We kept ourselves uh, in, right in front of us, you know, those, uh, those, those positives that uh, we were hopefully getting ready to walk toward and walk into. And um, so it just, you know, that's pretty much it, brother, you know, and um, just keeping again in front of us that, you know, there's more out there. Yes, sir. There's more yes, sir. That's yes, sir. out there. And so, you know, I, I, if, I, if I'm answering correctly, I would say that's pretty much it in a nutshell, brother. That's what kept us, you know, it gets keeping us, you know. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And you are, you're you know, a cafe owner as well, correct? That's correct. We uh, came here. We are we had we you know, my wife and I, when we first, you know, came together, we were recording, you know, my wife being a chef and me having always uh you know, had a great appreciation for that institution of, uh, of uh, the, the coffee industry. Yes, sir. You know, frequenting, you know, frequenting the different cafes, you know, it was, it was very, it was more than just a sip of coffee for me, you know, yes, it, sir. Was, yes, uh, sir. it was much more. So I've always wanted to have something of such as my own. Yes, sir. Because it welcomed various walks of life, you wow. know, and it was, uh, it was Friday. Every day. <laughs> yes, sir. Anytime, because people would go to a cafe because they wanted to retreat and be in a space where they can be among people that had a certain energy, a certain positivity, a certain, right. you, know, you know, deals are made out of cafes, you know. Absolutely. Um, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. So it was like, man, we got to do it. So we've always wanted to do it. And it was very challenging in the States, you know. And so we said, you know what, if where we're going based on the information we receive is all that it says it is as far as the ease of attaining business, uh, which is mind blowing how easy it is, then I think this will be a great fit for us to, you know, have um, as our as our lively, you know, means of livelihood, you know, yes, and yes, uh, and sure enough, brother, it checked off, man. And we uh uh, we've been in operation, full operation since August yes, sir. of last year. And uh, we're by law's grace, brother. We're moving forward and uh, we're growing. We're not where we not where we want to be, but we're moving toward it, you know, and um, we're enjoying it. man. Wow. We're enjoying it. Wow. Wow. Yes. Wow. Yes, wow. Yes, so how heavily <laughs> did you rely on which is the next principle is intuitive? How heavily uh -huh. did you rely on your intuition in terms of, I need to go here. I need to go here. I, we need to be in this specific spot. How heavily yeah. did you rely on that? It was, I would think, I would say, I think, it, I, I would say we rely very, very heavy on intuition because, I mean, again, we, I mean, I mean you know, you can, you can get you could you could get all of the information and it can all the the, the box boxes can check off you know yes, but sir. you still you really just don't know yes sir you really <laughs> yes, just sir. don't really know you know yes sir so what did it for us was this <clears throat> and this was in line with the in, in, in the level of intuition is that we in our study in our research of the country the leadership here was one that was very fam was somewhat familiar for us because of the type of leadership. Yes, sir. Where a zero tolerance for corruption from mm. the top level. Wow. You know, you know, uh, a regard for women and a, a, a safety, a, a strong safety factor. You know, it was the safest country on the continent, and 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 the cleanliness and all of those things. I was like, whoa. 
And that was like, oh, we know something about those things there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. (laughs) You know, based on we, you know, our training. And so I said, wow. So it was that that really was that was the intuition. Like, oh, I'm getting a good, good feeling about this, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Based on that, you know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. And his investment in when I say him, his excellency, the president, his and, and 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 his leadership investment into the people, you know, and it wasn't about, it wasn't a big eye, little you. It was like everything that I do, I'm doing it for the betterment of the people. Yes, and I said, man, so it was that brother. It was that intuition. That was the intuition it was like, you know what? I got a, we got a good feeling about this based on that. I think this is it right here, brother. Yes, and um, it was a sense of comfort knowing, you know, uh, those things there. And, Again, we said, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> so, so leading to the next principle, which is determination. Yes. <clears throat> Any uh, setbacks that you experience, what, how did determination uh, seal the deal for you in terms of to keep going? Well, let me see. Um you know, I don't really, honestly, brother, I don't know if there was anything so major that it would, that it would circumvent, you know, us moving forward and coming here. I would say in answering that question, probably more so when we got here. Yes, sir. Establish, establishing the cafe because of the cultural differences hmm. that there are, right? And not even just culturally as far as... Um, United States and Rhonda, but <clears throat> business culture, the mm. way they conduct business and do business and that, and that, and that aspect was so different. And it was, Oh brother, it was very, very challenging in the beginning. Man. Yes, sir. And, um, and we're still working our way through it. And there were times, there were times where my wife and I looked at each other like, Hey, <laughs> <laughs> you know, it was like, you know what you're thinking, you know, but we were like, you know what, when we, we again, the thought of re- retreating, going backwards. Yes, sir. That in and of itself is like, ah, uh, no, man, that's not even, that don't even, that don't even feel right. Yeah. It doesn't even feel right. You know? <laughs> yes, sir. And so we were like, you know what? And, and then realizing, you know, um, what the the possibilities of going back to would mean? Yes, sir. Going backward, what it would mean, and it's like you know, no, that's not good. So that just that just that thought, just that notion, you know, quickly snapped us back to you know to a you know reality and said, you know what, we gotta we gotta we gotta man up. Yes, sir. You know, we have to really just you know rely on what it is that we know and what we don't know. We have to be humble enough now. Wow. To realize that, okay, you're in a different environment. Yes, sir. Okay, be the student. Yes, That's what we're taught to be. Be the yes, student sir. and let's learn. And this is from what we're learning. Let's hopefully, you know, with the help of Allah, be able to now be more strategic and tactful on how we can maneuver and let's all grow and move forward together. Yes, sir. And so that was our determination. It's like, nope. And then, too, in addition to that, you know, Brother Jason, Man, I'm gonna tell you, brother, what what we did not expect, we did not expect so many per, so many people, not realizing how many were aware of us being here and what we're doing and watching us, and how inspired they became. Wow, wow! And we were like, wow, we, and it was very humbling, brother. It really, really is very humbling. And we were like, you know what? Surely we cannot come this far mm. and turn back and let so many people down. Yes, sir. You know, that has received it. No, we can't do that. We can't. So we have to, uh, you know, we have to toughen our skin. And, um, and you know, each time that, you know, we, you know, we hit a bump and we, by Allah's grace, move forward, you know, it makes it that much more easier for us as we continue on. Yes, so, yes, sir. Yes, sir. So experiencing that, doesn't that make you that much more appreciative? <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> indeed. Indeed. It, it truly does, brother. I mean, it really, really does, man, because, you know, I tell you, man, you know, it's not it's not comparatively, you know, you can't compare. And, yes, and, and you, a person would do themselves a disservice to try to compare this small country to, you know, a great country like uh, America or any other, you know, you know, country yes, uh, of, of their prominence. <laughs> and but one of the things, though, <laughs> that I like to say as a way of a luxury that we are able to experience that we could not experience in these great countries. Yes, sir. It's free. Is freedom, justice, and equality, brother. Wow, wow, wow! And you be and, and, and in the way of appreciation, man, you begin to appreciate the fact that, man, I can't even really say, brother, that I, you know, even though we were fighting for it and we thought and we, we you know, we have a measure of it. Yes, sir. But when you're in a you're in a, a, a society, man, where that's just all, that's all they know is freedom, justice, and equality. Yes, sir. And you really like, man. You can uh, you can appreciate it on a whole different level. <clears throat> and wow. So, man, brother, that's a that's a that's a, a luxury, which, of course, we already know is actually a God given right. But yes, it's a luxury, brother, that, you know, we are still, you know, really relishing in, man. Okay. You know, and I and, and I, not to not to be, belabor the point. Let me just give an example, brother. I'm going to tell oh, you, brother, yeah. I, came to, I came to tears with this, brother. Yes, sir. So we came here doing the, the, the it was thick in the, the, the pandemic, right? Yes, sir. And just to go back, digress for a second, even that didn't deter us from coming. We were like, yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> At any rate, so when we got here, they were under a curfew, right? And the curfew was uh, 6, 6 p.m. You had to be off the streets businesses closed in the house by 6 p.m., right? Yes, sir. So that went on for a period of time. And then as things got better, they were lifted, you know, gradually. Mm -hmm. They would lift the curfew, right? So it got to a point where they lifted to about maybe 8 p.m. Yes, sir. So what they did, I realized, I said, you know what? This is the first time I have been able to experience being here at nighttime, wow. meaning out, outside. Yes, sir. I said, you know, I said, you know, I think what I'll do is just because I'm going to go for a walk. Yes, sir. And experience the night time in Rhonda, right? Yes, sir. So I leave out. And when I leave out, as soon as I hit the pavement, I look to the right and I see a group of brothers, right? Yes, sir. I, you know, they're Rhonda. And the first thing that comes to my mind is like, uh-oh, let me, let me, let me, let me put my guard up. Let me be on point. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I said, oh my God, man, I said, man, I'm not, I'm not, I don't have to think like this, man. Why am I, I'm tripping. Yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. <laughs> and I felt bad, right? So I walked past them and they simply, they, they waved, a wave. They was doing their thing. They didn't pay me any mind, brother. Wow. I said, wow, man, this is really interesting. So I went further uh, up the street. And as I was walking up, there was a young lady who was walking across my path. Right. Yes, and sir. again, I'm thinking like, oh, man, I hope she don't think anything negative. Like I'll try to do something to her or anything yes, like that, because it's nighttime. You know, no one's around. It's night. And, and I said, oh, my God, <laughs> I'm really <laughs> I'm going through it. I'm tripping. I'm like, why? I'm thinking, I'm like, man, this is crazy. Again, she walked right by me. Wow. Almost as if I wasn't even there. She didn't even flinch. Yes. I said, okay, let me get it together. So I'm walking again. And mind you, all the while I'm walking, that there's it's it's lit, but it's not brightly lit. Yes, sir. So there are there are pockets of darkness as you're walking. Wow. So this third, this third part of my walk i'm walking and it's pretty dark it's not really well lit you know uh -huh. and i'm walking and i'm seeing someone in front of me but i'm walking at a at a pace it's not fast but it's fast enough that it would approach upon this individual rather quickly yes sir and i find that it's a female and I, i'm thinking again like oh man let me what can i do can i should i get in the street to go around so she can know i'm i'm, I'm, I'm behind her yes, i don't sir. want her to think that i'm going to come up 
walked past her and she didn't even she brother she didn't move she didn't budge she didn't flinch she didn't she didn't there was none of that i said nothing what? I said, man this is crazy so i'm thinking <clears throat> this is freedom man yes sir freedom of not having to worry about those things man no one should have to live we have to worry about if someone's gonna knock them on the head if someone's gonna get knocked in the head or someone's gonna I said, man, and I was for the, I felt like you're not seeing me, you know, based on the color of my skin because we look the same. Yes, sir. Wow. You're not looking at me like because he's a black man, he might do this. So let me put myself on guard. Yes, you know? sir. So he's treating me equal. And, 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 and so <clears throat> those are the luxuries, man, <clears throat> that we're experiencing that we are appreciating, brother. Really yes, appreciating so very much, brother. Yes, so. Sir. So, yes, sir, brother. Man, and that will um, go into the next principle, which is youthful. Yes. That- <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> so, as you stated, experiencing those uh, freedom, justice, and equality. Yes, sir. That makes you uh, more youthful. You have yeah. like a, a age reversal. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> I'm praying with you all along. <laughs> Tell me about okay. how that relates to you and what have you what you have done in terms of your youthfulness. Cause I, I see it. I see it. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Pray you to a lot, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah. tell me a, a little bit of things that have fun there and things of that nature. Sure. Well, um, you know, th- this is what we do. So, you know, because it's it's a it's a growing country. Truthfully, the country has really, because if you know the history based on the genocide and the massacre that occurred. Uh, which was only like 28 years ago. In fact, they just, uh, um, um, they call it their memorial was just on April uh, 4th yes, for sir. the whole week. And really they do a whole full 100 days in truth. But they that week, they, you know, they really focus on that. And my point is that it's a really young uh, country, meaning, you know, how they had to really rebuild from ashes based on that. That massacre was horrific, brother. Wow. And it tore families, man. And I tell you, brother, when I when, when you think about the atonement process, yes, brother, sir. this is this atonement is uh, brother, this is something I've never seen before, brother. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I mean, I mean, is you that have the Hootsies and the Tootsie. Is it Tootsies or exactly? Okay, exactly. Okay. Okay. Exactly. Okay. okay. And you have you have victims you know, living next door to those who are perpetrators, the families wow. of perpetrators, brother. Wow. Man, it's, but that's a whole other, brother, it's a very yeah, whole so, other topic. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Exactly. Yes, sir. But uh, my point in that is that because it's a young country, it uh, it is still growing. Yes, it's sir. still developing, you know, but it's, go- it's growing so fast, brother. It's a beautiful country and they have, um, they're making great gains. And so they are, as far as uh, activities are concerned, there are not as many as there could be and probably will be. Yes, sir. But the the country is they, there's nothing but young people, brother. I mean, wow. they, they, they they're like I mean, you go to businesses, you go to the airport, you're gonna see young people in their twenties, brother. Not you know, not too far past thirty years of age. And wow. it's a very 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 young country, man. And they're very uh, uh, involved. And, um, you know, uh, in schooling and, 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 and working and so forth and so on. Our, our, our staff, we don't really have, we may have one person on our staff that might be 35. Wow. Everyone else is like t- 29 and under, brother. Wow. And that helps us to maintain our youthfulness in, 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 <laughs> in, 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 you know, more directly because, you know, um, they're young, you know, yes, they're sir. young, they got the young energy. And we, what we do is we create, because of such, we create, you know, the, the, the levels of activity within and of ourselves right there at the cafe. You know, I'll do something like, all right, I want all y'all to come, talking to the men, y'all come, 25 push-ups. Let's see who could do 25 yes, push-ups. Sir, yes, push-ups. sir, yes, <laughs> sir. 
And who can beat me? And who can beat me? I'm 50 years old. Who can get me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> so I jump down and we'll do some push ups. Yes, sir. And I dust them off. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> and they don't realize that I feel it later on that night, but we'll get down. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. But they bring that, they bring it out, you know, you know, they bring it out. You know, we, you know, they, you know, they, 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 they dance, man. We'll have them dancing and things of that. And so, you know, we, it just allows for that. And, you know, we can have a cafe where we can be ourselves, you know, and they'll respect you all the same. You know, um, we don't have to be this rigid, you know, do this, do this, do this. No, man, we're a family. Let's have fun. Let's make our work fun. And, uh, and that's what we do. That's what we do, man. Wow, wow. Yeah, so. Excellent, excellent. The last uh, question I'm going to ask you, out of all those principles, fearless, resilient, intuitive, determined, appreciative, and youthful, what is the principle that sticks out to you the most and why? Mm. Wow. Wow. That's a good question, man. Fearless, resilience, intuitive, determination, appreciative, youthful. Man, I don't know if I could choose just one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I would have to say it would be between determination and appreciative. Wow, 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 wow. It would have to be between those two because for me, Brother, and it, and it almost brings me to tears to even say it, brother, that, man, I'm so grateful for the most honorable Elijah Muhammad, brother. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because I don't know, man, if I would have been able to really be in the mindset to say, let's go, man. Let's go and see what is beyond. Yes, sir. If it were not for the teachings of the most honorable Elijah Muhammad. And I appreciate, man, so much. Yes, Yes, I'm sir. sorry, brother. I didn't know. Oh, no, bro, bro. I, 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 uh, brother, I'm right. I'm right there with you, bro. <laughs> yeah, man. Man, I'm telling you. I'm right there with you, yes, sir. Yeah. And then the example that he has in front of us, man, the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan, man, that is urging us, man, to 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 take what we have, man, and just take it, man, wherever we go, man, yes, wherever sir. we go. Yes, sir. You know. So, and because of that. That makes me determined, man. Yes, determined, sir. Determined, brother. Yes, sir. To, you know, make this the best experience for myself and my family. And, uh, you know, be, you know, an example. If in any way, shape, or form, or just a brother, man. Yes, any sir. way I can, man, for whomever, any, any, any other, man. Yes, that, sir. Uh, even if it's not coming here, yes, sir. But just go and just experience students, man. It really allows. I speak for myself. Allows for me to see from a whole totally different perspective, man. It really yeah. does. So, those two points, brother: determination and appreciation, brother. Those are the two that stand out right now. For excellent, me. excellent, yes. bro. excellent, excellent. Well, yeah, yeah. I thank you. Uh, a whole lot, bro, for doing this and not Man, just for I'm doing the interview, it, but setting an example, bro, <laughs> of what we can do. You know, yes, this sir. Is an example for us, bro, because you you freed up so many minds, like you were used to free up so many minds in terms of what we can do. Like, I'm just going to go off and go to another country. You know, yes, like we weren't yes, even sir. thinking, a lot of us weren't even thinking internationally. Like yes, I, can do, I can move somewhere else. I can yes, do such, and such. I don't have to be held down by circumstances. You know, I exactly. can rise above that. So yes, sir. thank you. Yes, thank, sir. You. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, brother. Thank you. I'm honored, man. I'm so honored. You don't even understand how honored I am. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. And I, I'll be coming out there soon. Hey, brother, listen, just say it, man. We will, brother, just say it, man. We'll make, in fact, I got something for you. I'll talk to you on the sidebar, but I have something for you. Yes, brother. sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> well, thank you for coming on. I'm going to end yes, this sir. interview and then uh, we'll come back. Hold on.